How's it going guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make CS Timer look amazing. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So I got it resetted here just uh, just for the ease of ex um, giving you guys an example. So honestly, this layout looks disgusting. I do not like it at all. The color scheme is just like the the pink with the blue text and the limish yellow tan back here it just ugh, it just looks really bad so let's change this up and make it look really good so i'm a huge fan of the darker display only because i don't know i'm just a huge fan of the black white color scheme and because it actually is beneficial to your laptop's battery if you go to option then color there'll be Right below color, there's this option saying select color theme. It says style one. You click on that, and there are all these different styles. So you could go to white if you want a white color scheme that looks a little plain. There's style two, just kind of a yellow. You can actually import a manual color scheme if you'd like. Yeah, you just change all these colors individually if you want. But I like the default black. It's more of a gray, but um, it just suits the background image I'm planning on putting in. So I'll get to that in a moment. All right, now we're if you scroll up or just click up to display, there's this big variety of options, almost the whole tab. It just kind of sure just everything becomes larger. So I wouldn't recommend changing that. So let's move down. There is select timers font. Um, you can choose whatever you'd like. There's <laughs> Roboto. <laughs> um, there's Digital 5, Digital 4. Just kind of these interesting fonts that you can choose. I'm not stopping you. They all look pretty cool. I like Digital 1 though. Um, it's just one I've been used to for the longest time. UI design is... Pretty much the border of everything you can just change the texture of the outside of, of everything uh there's this material design without shadows that looks pretty cool there's normal i'm actually a fan of normal so i'll just keep that because it doesn't have like this weird blurred edge but yeah that looks pretty cool uh looking good so far scramble panel design display this is important to know so in display, you can change whether or not each component of CS Timer has a background or not. So say you don't want this gray behind the scramble box up tops. So you could go to scramble panel display style, which is this, the scramble panel. You could hit flat and then boom, it's transparent with the background. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to do that to the tools panel display as well, but I don't feel like doing it to the dis the statistics panel display style because it's got this weird dotted line and it looks like it shrinks the font a little bit, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the best part, the most nice, most cool part, my favorite part, the background image. So, if you go to background image, click on this box that says none, you can choose one of four options. You could either choose one of these three default backgrounds. They look okay. I'm not personally a huge fan of them. I want to put something back there that, you know, I enjoy. So if you hit the manual panel, it'll say, please input images URL. So I recently used a URL just to change the background. So I'm just going to show you how to get the URL. So just close that. How to get the URL is to open up a new tab and type in something you'd like. For instance, I like Death Note, the anime. Just make sure that you type in this computer wallpaper HD because the higher resolution, the better it looks on CS Timer as, it's take, as the background pretty much takes up the whole screen. So after you type it in, go to images if you're using Google and then find one that you like. If the image doesn't work, I'd either try looking for an image like it or a different image so I like this one right here it's got some good color it's got this cool color scheme that really could match the black and gray so I double click right click it here go down to open image and new tab and perfect so 
after you load it into a new tab, you are free to close the search tab there and then copy the image URL up here. Go to CS Timer, Background Image, Manual, paste the URL, then press OK. Unless there was some sort of error, it should be pretty instantaneous to pop in. So, looks really good. <laughs> I actually want the background image to stand out more, so what you can do to do that is to go to display and then background image opacity. Uh, then you just increase the size like that. 55 seems to be pretty good. But yes, that is very important to know just in case you want your background image to be any brighter. Uh, just customize it to whatever brightness you'd like. Um, I wouldn't recommend too bright or else you wouldn't be able to see your current average of 5 or 12 down here. You could always look over here, but I like having it in big text right in front of me. But yeah, there we go. It's looking pretty darn good. One really one really nice thing to know is that you can actually uh, link your WCA ID or Google account to your CS timer. So all you do is that you log in. Um, I'm not going to show it, but once you log in, you'll be linked to your account and you can import all of your solves from this server that you have open and it'll save all your solves no matter what happens to your computer. If, you're com if all the data from your search engine disappears, then it'll be saved. It may not look saved and don't be worried. All you have to do is just log in and then push export to server and boom. All this stuff is saved and you can do that on any computer. So that's one very important thing to know. I actually had one session of like 3,000 3x3 solves and uh, search ending cleared all of its data for some reason and it, it was so annoying. But I was able to fix it with this. I certainly don't have 3,000 solves, but because I learned this so soon, I'm actually not that upset or worried anymore because I know that the data import and export has my back. <laughs> so yeah, one really cool thing to know, um, <laughs> I never looked into this before, super, super f helpful. Okay, one thing left is that I'm actually a huge fan of milliseconds. <laughs> That's just me though. Yeah, I use milliseconds, I don't know why, it's just I one time turned it on, and I'm like, oh, this looks fine, and then I used it, and then it just, uh, then it just clicked and stayed there. So yeah, this looks pretty done. But yeah, literally any of this customization is up to you. I highly recommend uh, adding a background image. It just makes it look so cool. And taking away the background the background to the, uh, the solid gray background to the scramble and the tool and the... It just all looks really, really nice and just, you know, a pleasure to look at. Yeah, um... I can't tell you much about the timer, just as long as you have everything that you want. I use WCA inspection all the time. Uh, mail voice alert, that doesn't really matter to me. Voice volume doesn't matter. Entering times with stack mat I actually use. Um, very, very nice. In case you guys don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link to a Sio the King video in the description. Um, he does he he made a video on um how to connect a stack mat to your computer or your laptop and it just it's awesome like it totally it totally helps it give you more of an official feel it it's just really nice so timer update i like it after inspection um time to keeping space down yeah that's pretty much it so yeah, this is all set to do some solves and <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy just, you know, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you've got any issues at all, can please comment down below. I, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Just know that I'm here and that I'm uh, happy to help you. So yeah, <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and other than that, you know, have a good one, guys.